Look at how fluffy and tasty this my akara is looking. I want to show you how you can make this easily. It doesn't take long to make and it doesn't need lots of ingredients. Hello, thank you for joining me today. If today is your first time, please join the family by clicking on that subscription bell. Thank you. This is half cup of black eyed beans. It's already peeled. I will soak it in cold water tonight and it will be ready for my akara in the morning. The beans is softened now. I will wash it and drain out the water completely. I will be blending this with scotch bonnet pepper and one big onion. So a big onion is okay for my half cup of beans. If you are making more beans, then you should add more onions because the onions is very important in this recipe. Put in the blender and add very little water. If your blender cannot blend with very little water, then use mortar or hand blender to blend the beans because you need it to come out very thick. Slice some onions and keep aside. I will be using it to garnish the akara. After blending the beans, pour in the content in a mixing bowl, preferably a deep bowl so that you can easily mix the content without spilling it. Meanwhile, add some vegetable oil in a pan and put on the heat while you get your beans ready for the akara. Add half a teaspoon of crayfish or pram powder. The aim is to get a whiff of the flavor in the akara, not to change the natural taste of the akara. That is why you are adding a pinch. Then add salt to taste. Use a whisker, either electric whisker or the manual one, and start whisking the content. Whisk for about 5 to 8 minutes until it's very fluffy. If your akara always comes out lumpy and bland, it's probably because you didn't whisk it very well. You can see how light and fluffy this looks now. Remember to test for salt. And if the salt is not enough, you add more salt until it's good and ready to go. Test your oil by dropping a little inside to see if it's ready. When it starts frying, then I'll know it's, that it's ready. Use a spoon, preferably a well curved spoon to start scooping in your content in the oil. You will see that it immediately floats on the top. If it's not floating then your mixture, your content is probably not well prepared. Maybe you added more than enough water or it's not fluffy enough. After scooping in some batch, then add the onions on top just before it starts frying very well so that the onions will stay. Use a spoon or a barbecue stick like I'm using and flip the akara on its other side. I do this like two or three times so that the akara will be evenly fried. If two or more akara are joined together, it's better to separate it first before you flip it over. Remember that you have to, you need to fry this on a medium heat and not on a high heat and not even on a low heat. If you fry it on a high heat, 
the body we done before the inside it will turn golden or darker before the inside is well fried and if you fry it on a very low heat the akara we soak oil the oil lots of oil will be soaked inside the akara and you wouldn't want you wouldn't like it why when you're eating it so you fry it on a medium heat so that it will be evenly fried both the inside and the outer part of the akara it will be nice and golden and looking very nice When the akara is done, scoop out of the oil and if you have another batch to fry, remember you need to whisk it again so that it will come back to fluffy nature before you start frying it. Serve your akara and enjoy with pap, custard, akamu, soft bread, whatever you want to enjoy it with. I'm sure you have enjoyed watching this video. A special thank you to my returning subscribers and those who are joining me today. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you for subscribing to my channel. I hope that you have learned something today. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.